Hello. Uh, it's just been a while. Unless you've been watching these, in which case, so. Uh, it hasn't. <laughs> or if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is The Truth Dog. Uh, today's topic differences between organic portals and reptilians. And this is uh, something that's been on my mind for a little while. I've been watching uh, other channels that sort of talk about either one thing or the other. One thing I'm noticing that there's a trend that there's not many people talking about reptilians anymore. You had some channels giving really, really good information on OPs, organic portals, empty, soulless, humans, clones, all that sort of stuff. But nobody's really talking about reptilians anymore. And I'm not sure exactly why this is. I have my theories. I'm not going to go swing, it, swing and poop at nobody. But uh, at the very least, I think it's uh, a little bit uh, ignorant, maybe, to simplify uh, the issue of non-entities uh, non or soulless humans. And I think it's um, kind of like taking a shortcut uh, information-wise, where... Maybe it's easier for people, I actually, I know it's easier for people to accept uh, that reptilians don't exist, but reptilians are real. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, good timing. You want to settle in? Yeah, reptilians are real. So this video is just um, to try and balance out the uh, the amount of videos that are only talking about organic portals. Because the problem that I have with those uh, videos that, about organic portals is that about half the time they're actually talking about reptilians, but they never actually... Uh, discern the difference and this might be on purpose this might be like a psyop like really good channels are out there that are giving information exclusively on organic portals but half the time they're talking about reptilians and they're never even mentioning reptilians and if you ask me that might be something that a reptilian would do you know oh, oh don't talk about the reptilians uh, it's just these uh, soulless organic portals that's all that's all it is there's no such thing as reptilians Go about your business, everybody. You know, because if you think about it. Right. So if you think about it. If it's just humans with souls and humans without souls. And everything you know about organic poles is that they're essentially empty and blank. And really just not, not nearly as smart or talented as real people. Uh, you really think that they're the ones running the world? You really think that organic poles are in charge of everything. Uh, I can tell you that if an organic portal were to know the things that the people at the top of this stupid world know, uh, they're just basically like, <laughs> they wouldn't understand it. Organic portals don't understand deep information. And deep information is what's been kept from us, from the people at the top. So... It's not organic portals at the top, at the very least, right? And organic portals aren't leaders. This is something that, you know, just getting into the, 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 the differences between, I suppose, reptilians, organic portals, and humans. In terms of leadership, reptilians are authority to organic portals. Reptilians are the ones who tell organic portals what to do. Organic portals are yes men. Reptilians are, are authority figures to organic portals. An organic portal will believe or listen to a reptilian 10 times out of 10 over a real person. Forget about it. That's like uh, 
they basically reptilians are the masters of the organic portals. We live in a reptilian society where organic portals are used as a secondary control mechanism to keep the uh, minority of sold S O U L E D humans uh, under control. Uh, and uh, humans with souls are leaders. Humans with souls are leaders. They have inborn talent, leadership talents because we lead by example. We do the right thing and that speaks for itself. A reptilian is a, is a fa false leader, a fake leader. A reptilian leads uh, under the... Uh, they operate under do as I say, not as I do. Reptilians are very... Uh, yeah, reptilians don't practice what they preach. They tell people what to do. They don't lead by example. But this is what works for the organic portals because uh, organic portals are born empty, uh, as far as I'm aware. Organic portals are born with basically no personality or any sort of talents. And the reason for our media and politics and education and everything under the umbrella of society is literally to program the organic portal. It's like television programming. That's why it's called that. It doesn't necessarily work on real people, but we're in the minority. The idea about TV programming and all that sort of stuff, mind control, that's for the organic portals. That's so that they can be programmed with personalities. They can be programmed with be lie systems belief you know b l b e l i e f systems and they can pass to us so that we living in this fake matrix world uh never to wake up because as far as we can tell now there's people around us who who think and have you know their own ideas and all that sort of stuff no they just watched uh, they watch the news they watch the they watch sitcoms and they imitate sheldon from the big bang theory and they just repeat things that they've heard on television and that if uh, if they never saw any TV and you've just left them out in the wild, they'll probably uh, walk off the first cliff they came in, into contact with or <laughs> uh, they'd, they'd drown in the first like uh, river that they saw. They'd look into the river and see their reflection and go, hey, who's that? And they'd jump in, blah, dead. And, you know, organic portals are idiots. Organic portals... Um, uh, need authority they're cucks you know they need to be told what to do and they are they're very happy about that and you know I, for people who have seen the movie they live if you haven't seen that movie it's one of the best movies especially if you're into this sort of information go watch that movie uh it's so detailed it's so uh, it's relatable too um go watch that movie because that movie is not about organic portals that movie is about reptilians controlling organic pool society um, with basically, like I said, every, all of our entertainment and our media and all that is just um, subliminal programming for organic portals, you know, um, like marry, procreate, watch TV, submit to authority, all that sort of stuff. Because, you know, we go to school and I don't know about you guys, but the way I felt about school was I didn't learn a damn thing. I always felt like I learned more watching television, being able to discern, being able to get like the uh, the double meanings and like the hidden messages and all that sort of stuff and just like the human relations and oh you know that that's what bad that, that's what bad people like oh that's what good people like okay that's not true that's true I learned I, I, I was able to discern a lot from watching television um, I learned far more from TV shows about the world than I ever learned at school. Because school isn't really made to teach you anything aside from spells and math. Uh, school is made to train people to submit to authority. You know, you have to arrive at a certain time. You have to do everything that the person at the front of the room says. Monkey see, monkey do. It's, you know, really stupid. Um, but, you know, it, the organic portals do learn things from that. They learn how to pass as people with uh, anything inside them. Um, Another difference about organic portal is just going like straight to the very beginning. This is something I've observed about uh, the differences between humans, organic portals, and even reptilians. Um, 
when a, when a human with a soul is born, they come into the world crying, screaming. It's almost as if they realize they're in hell. And the, you know what I mean? And they don't want to be here. Whereas an, an organic pole baby is born, a soulless baby is born, they come into the world and they're just, you know, they don't notice anything. They're just born like quiet. Oh, here we go, another baby, it's breathing, whatever. You know? um, whereas, you know, like I've said in another video, reptilians, they come out of the womb looking um, like, you know, green lizard babies. But they do come in. The one that I've seen came in crying. So I do think that reptilians have souls because they experience, they know things, you know. Like I said, you couldn't have organic portals telling the organic portals what to do. You'd have to have programmed the organic portals to tell them what to do. So it's not organic portals programming organic portals with the media. It's reptilians. Who, like I said, I believe that reptilians have souls. It's just that they have like negative souls, whereas humans with souls uh, have positive souls. Um, so yeah, and uh, that's basically the differences. So the, the you know the the, the the chain of command goes reptilian, organic portal, human. And that's just how it is on this earth. In reality, it would be the other way around. It would be, maybe actually it would be human, reptilian, organic portal. Because um, the OPs, like I said, they're completely empty. Talentless. They're the kind of like, say you got like an organic portal who's creative. They're, they're the kind of creative that literally just everything they come up with is like, oh yeah, that's pretty, like say they wrote a song. Oh yeah, that's pretty good, except mm, kind of sounds like blah blah blah, you know? They can never really come up with a tune that's totally original. They can never come up with an idea that's totally original, like a sitcom. It'll be like, oh, you know, like Malcolm in the Middle. Let's just say like an organic portal came up with the middle, you know, that other show. That's like, that's what organic portals are like. They're like, they think, they think. It's just that they see things and they do things. And, you know, everyone's... I'm not saying that uh, everyone's perfect. People with souls are definitely not uh, original 100% of the time. But, you know, organic portals are never original. <laughs> they, might see, they might seem original. They might seem, like, uh, unique to you. But that just means that you haven't seen the TV shows that they watch or read the books that they watch. Because, like I said, you know, um, you know, like all those people that imitate the Kardashians and stuff. Like, a real person could never fall that low. An organic portal will immediately. They'll just, like, slot right into that. Um, it's all about archetypes as well. Like, say, like, terrible show, like, Two and a Half Men. You've got all the archetypes for them to follow. You've got, like, an organic portal will watch that show. They'll either become, like, Charlie, the ladies' man. They'll become, like, Alan, the, uh, the, the, the cuck. Or they'll become, like, that the little asshole kid or whatever. Um, you know. Whereas a, a, a person with a soul will watch that and turn it off. Um, yeah. Sorry to, to, for offending all the two and a half men fans out there. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of you. Um, yeah, so what are some other differences? Um, oh yeah, yeah. Um, organic portals are actually like, uh, as, much, as much as I put them down, they're not bad people, you know, they're not. Organic portals are easy to be around, you know. They don't necessarily have a bad vibe about them. Where um, they're not really, you know, they're not they're not really out to get you. That's one of the uh, problems I have with all these organic portal videos, where they're describing like these organic portals, man. They're, they're out to keep you down and blah 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 and go behind your back. Not really. Like they're just kind of uh, normal, happy-go-lucky idiots, really. As in my experience, organic portals, the majority of people are organic portals and they're not, you know, they're not, they're not, they're not bad people. Uh, reptilians are the bad ones. Reptilians are the ones who, um, as soon as you meet them, you get that bad vibe and they're the ones who will go behind your back and get you fired from a job. Um, reptilians are the ones who look into your eyes and realize, okay, you're not one of us. Organic portals will look at you until the cows come home and not realize anything. Unless, like in the movie The Matrix, um, an organic portal can be bad if it is piloted by an agent. And this is something that, this is what they showed in the movie The Matrix with Agent Smith. So basically the archetype said, Neo, human with a soul, Agent Smith, reptilian, 
and uh, yeah, Reptilian Shapeshifter, and uh, da, 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 yeah, all the like all the people, all the empty people in the Matrix, they're all organic portals that Agent Smith can jump into. That's why they're that, that's why they're empty. That's why the Reptilians flooded flood our society with all these clone people that can breed. That's what organic portals are. They're essentially clones that all they do is like eat, work, and and fuck. You know. Um, they're empty for that reason, that they can be piloted spiritually by negative entities to get to us. They're essentially like walking security cameras, that's something that I've heard said in videos, which is true. Um, but they're like used as a secondary like security uh, like a control system, like I said before. Whereas um, they can be piloted. This is like if you're talking to an organic portal and things are going well, then all of a sudden things change and they start to act different around you and get cagey or um, uh, cold with you. That just means that they've been piloted by an agent who's trying to lower your vibration. And when, when they're piloted by an agent, you can know this because they start asking you a lot of questions. They, um, they do things which are like more akin to psycho psycho psychopaths, reptilians, is that they invade your personal space and boundaries. They ask you a lot of questions, trying to figure you out, trying to find out information, try to find your weaknesses, your chink the chinks in your armor, try to find out what tits, where they can get you. And they save all this information up because uh, uh, they can use it at a later time. You know, it's really just like, I, I think that it might be something like every single person has like an age, every real person in this world has like a Mr. Smith assigned to them that, you know, we can't see because this is the third dimension. Um, but there's other dimensions beyond this. And like I've said in other videos, reptilians are from the fourth dimension. So they can reside in the physical dimension through hologram suits, uh, but they can also uh, interact with the fourth dimension. And while they're in the fourth dimension, that's when they can get inside these empty organic portals and use them um, to gang stalk and get to real people, you know, ruin our day and uh, just, you know, figure us out so they can ruin our day on a, a later time. Um, yeah, so like organic portals behavior wise, they're just completely normal unless they've been piloted by a, an agent or um, unless they've been lied to by a reptilian. Because, like I said, organic portals. Uh, totally submissive to authority. They believe everything that you know the news says that the 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 boss says that leaders say, and so you know all a reptilian has to do is lie to them about you at your work, at school, wherever, family, and if you you know if anyone's an organic portal, they're going to believe the bad things that the reptilian has said about you, and that's when they'll start you know doing things like stuff that seems like gang stalking or you know just making snide remarks or being cold with you because they've been lied to and they believe lies like that um the truth the truth to an organic portal is pretty um pretty confronting they don't do well with with the, the truth in general is okay but when you get into deep truths not so much and that's the difference like a reptilian can actually um you can have a pretty flowing conversation with a reptilian about deep stuff they get it they just don't really care <laughs> whereas an organic portal like is scared of the truth really um and reptilians are scared of the truth about themselves like if you want to expose if you want to expose a reptilian or a psychopath go for it it actually works like i've said in other videos um exposure actually causes them to um lose control of <laughs> everything everything so they they get a reptilian will get away from you if you want to expose them for what they really are which at the very least is a psychopath sociopath whatever and just finally going to try to make this under 20 minutes i'll get into just the physicality of uh uh organic portals versus reptilians um organic portals in general look like real people they look like normal people um the they're not they're not really as striking they're not as they probably don't have as much charisma in general like talent you know like you can sort of sense talent or your presence i guess is the word uh organic portals don't really have that they don't like um they don't light up the room but it's not like you want to vomit when you look at them so much um you know some can be plain some not you know same goes for real people you know some can be plain but you know the, the someone could be like physically not uh attractive but you know, as long as they've got a soul they're very like there's something beautiful about them there's something compelling about them that's that's the beauty of you know <laughs> the soul. Um, organic portals physically look pretty much like normal people, except maybe a little bit plainer. 
and reptilians, ugh, for the most part, reptilians are the ugly ones. Reptilians are the ones with like the rubber skin or the really dry skin, the zombie-like ones who are really pale, um, the ones who are always like got a lot of product in their hair, they got like the wank kind of hairstyle, they, want, they always try to look like the flavor of the, mm, 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 the minute, they always like, re reptilian psychopaths are like walking hairdos. Um, they do this because they don't really have uh, a whole lot of personality um, that is a, that is appealing to to humans' organic portals. So they fake that, that and they don't have a lot of um, emotion in their eyes because that's psychopathy, you know, dead eyes is psychopath. Um, so they use their hairstyles to try and uh, trick people into thinking that they're fun or they're jazzy or they're laid back or they're cool or whatever, you know. So they they use a lot. Um, product and they always get like the, the you know the current cool hairdo that's that's psychopath 101 in appearance and they tend tend to dress the very clean cut um, tend to dress in like expensive clothing so very materialistic and uh, sorry peace but reptilians like lead the pack and that sort of stuff uh, and reptilians are the ones that shape shift reptilians are the ones if you you, you like confront one and they start to lose control you see their eyes start to turn into the slits. You see that like scales grow on their face and that's when they have to get away from you because exposure makes them shape shift. I'm going to do a video on that hopefully sometime. Uh, but yeah, but those are basically the differences. Like I said, um, reptilians own this world. Reptilians use the media to program the organic portals, which are used as secondary uh, control mechanisms uh, towards the uh, minority of real people with souls. And the reptilian agenda is to replace all human life, as in people with souls, with organic portals because we're just too hard to control. And you know they're trying, they, they're absolutely trying to keep real people uh, from meeting other real people because when we get together, we our vibration goes through the roof and we can do a lot to actually bring down this matrix. So do your best to try and find real people out there. Try to connect with real people. Try to talk about this stuff as much as possible. I've seen videos about, you know, saying that the best way to get through this life is to, like, keep your head down and not, you know, shake the apple cart, try to be, like, boring and soulless like all the others. No, 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 that's a lie. you got to really, really, really be yourself. Be yourself because that's that's the only way that we're going to raise the vibration and get rid of these reptilian bastards at the top is by uh, making them uncomfortable. They don't let them, don't let them turn... Don't let them turn you into an organic portal. Don't let the reptilians or the organic portals make you act like them. Don't ever cuck yourself like that. Be yourself. And if you can't be yourself, find out who you are and go from there. But that's uh, that's all I've got to say, I suppose. There's a difference between organic portals and reptilians. Uh, the difference is basically psychopaths and then uh, spots. And then real people are awesome. <laughs> like you, hopefully. So that's that's a video. Hope you learned something. Uh, Truth dog out. Woof woof. <laughs>